The American public deserves an education that will tailor to individual student needs, invigorate the creative spirit, and promote research and technology, putting children on a path to a brighter future. The federal government's one-size-fits-all approach to education fails to take such measures into account. Earlier this year, I formed a new Higher Education Advisory Council to aid my understanding of local needs and wants pertaining to education. The council provides an outlet for students and families to express their widespread support for continued, tailored education beyond high school. I have heard loud and clear how frustrated students, parents, and teachers are in regards to the overreaching control of the federal government in our educational system. Washington bureaucrats have been sticking their noses into state and local education policies for far too long. Today, the House, in the House, we passed H.R. 5, the Student Success Act, that reauthorizes the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, which expired back in 2007. This important bill returns responsibility to the states and local school districts, limiting the heavy hand of federal government's overreach. This answers the call of those back home in my district. The grand experiment of race to the top paired with the coercive nature of federal bureaucrats demanding states adopt common core standards is not working. Students should not have to submit themselves to a remedial courses in their first years of college due to lack of preparation in high school. As an example, there are over 42,000 high schools in America of which only 2,100 offer an advanced placement test in computer science. As a member of the House Committee on Space, Science, and Technology and chair of the National Labs and Science Caucus, I know just how imperative science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM education is to ensure our country has a bright future and that our students are properly prepared. Students in Illinois and across our nation seeking accelerated courses and futures in STEM deserve that opportunity and should not be held to the limiting common core standards. This act will prohibit the Department of Education from coercing students to conform to specific academic standards and mandates in exchange for federal education waivers. I have worked with the principals of the state of Illinois to obtain a federal waiver from No Child Left Behind, but the Department of Education continues to hold it up with no good explanation. The bill passed today is mindful of taxpayer dollars and eliminates more than 70 duplicative programs while strengthening programs that help at-risk students and their population of additional assistance. It rights a serious wrong, repealing a provision that values teachers' credentials over their effectiveness in the classroom. State and local schools are empowered to develop and implement their own tools to measure a teacher's impact on student success. It's time to give American children the education they demand. Now is the time to act. I'm here to ensure that the current shackles of a federally controlled system are not holding back our schools and teachers from doing what they do best. That is preparing our kids for the future. It is my mission to push for excellence in our schools, to produce a highly disciplined and motivated band of teachers and, re and return the responsibility of education to the states and local school districts. I believe the Student Success Act is a strong step in the right direction.